You see how a residential building at the entrance to the city is on fire in Bakhmut. The battle for the city continues. Ukrainian servicemen are fighting for every house, for every street. They also hold the defense near the Bakhmut River. They do not allow the enemy to cross it. The situation is getting worse, but it is stable. The Wagner PMC mercenaries are coming in their droves. They are being killed. Somewhere, yes, in some areas they manage to take the advantage with manpower. They make us exhausted. The first party runs in, gets killed. The second runs in, after it. Once they stormed our positions on the Zhiguli cars, they were just driving in the Zhiguli. A shell from a handheld anti-tank grenade launcher flew into one of the cars. The mercenaries got out of it and continued their offensive. Vadim was seriously wounded in the battles near Izum. He returned to service already in Bakhmut. He says he couldn't leave his friends. The Russians wanted to take Barvinkova. They attacked with companies, tanks, tank companies, without infantry. They turned around and advanced with tanks in the field. They were destroying the villages. And we were in the village of Novodmitrivka. They shelled villages with two Tochka U with no purpose. It was difficult then. I got my leg broken. It was a shrapnel wound. I was treated in Sweden then. There I healed and returned back, returned to service. The film crew of the UATV English was allowed to show the work of the crew of an infantry fighting vehicle. This is how the tape is loaded with ammunition to destroy lightly armored vehicles and enemy manpower. How long does it take to change the entire tape? To fully charge the tape? Well, about 40 minutes. This is so as to bring it into the tower to make sure the car is ready to go. And how often do you have to do this in the conditions of hostilities in Bakhmut? <laughs> we cannot even leave this place. Happens that we do this all day long. It depends on the intensity of the Russian attack. In the team there are 500 shells. On the eve, the army team of this unit fired three such tapes at the enemy. What is our task? We cover the infantry when it goes into trenches. We go on the attack. Our task is to liquidate the enemy in order to prevent it from resting while our infantry approaches the trench. That is, we cease fire, the infantry jumps in and clears the territory. In the same way, we stop the enemy's manpower, their infantry fighting vehicles, and that's all jazz. A command to perform combat tasks. Aerial reconnaissance is transmitting coordinates. We try to do our job effectively, with using less shells, because unfortunately you understand our situation. So each trip must be 100% effective for us. We get help. Now a lot of new technology comes to us. So our work is already beginning to improve, to get much more effective. We work on new technology easier and more efficiently. In this unit, they are still fighting on an old infantry fighting vehicle, still of the Soviet type. The military dream of the American arm to Bradley. They say that with such a machine, their combat capability will increase significantly. The military are confident that they will definitely liberate not only Bakhmut, but also all temporarily occupied Ukrainian territories from Russian invaders. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Anastasia Volkova, Artem Voronin, UATV News.